get started in just a minute. stuff already Gonna pull up a checklist and then we'll get going. Okay, tonight we got ourselves an oldie. Uh, this is uh, this is 2012, right? Uh, I do not see the year. I think it's 2012. Star Trek: The Next Generation Series Two Archive Boxes. Sponsored by Blowout Cards. There they are. Now, I know the random has not been done yet, but uh, unlike the newer types of archive boxes, there aren't any printing plates in here, and there aren't any, like, a, a sketch or something like that. So, we already know everything that's in here. So, we should be in good shape. The nice thing about this is that, again, with the older ones, is this includes everything, including the... Incentive cards, which the reason why I picked Series 2 once I saw it go on sale was one of the incentive cards is a Leonard Nimoy autograph. And I only saw one for sale up on eBay, and that guy was asking a lot of money for it. Let's see. We're going to go with box B first. Box A feels heavy. That means that probably has those pin cards in it. So I believe that this has absolutely everything in it. Um, except for the base cards, I believe. Oh, I'm just trying to pull up. Uh, whoops. Trying to pull up. Keeping the video open and pulling up checklists at the same time it kind of is a tough thing to do. Alright, 
I got a couple of watchers. Somebody better post your name. Must be on the bottom. Um, all right. It was in there. We're going to make you wait. All right. So this should be one of the parallel cards, I'm guessing. So it's a silver foil. I've never opened this. It's as before I was doing. Uh, breaks so there's a couple more of them so we start up here's Denise Crosby uh, what was that guy's name John De Lancey Q and Jonathan Freaks good start like I said we already know everything that's in here but it's nice and I honestly, I could not pass up, I mean, Nimoy, Spiner, Patrick Stewart, Ashley Judd's in here, Kelsey Grammer's in here, Crosby, Freaks, I mean, everybody's in here. Steven Anderson. And Hallie Todd. Is that Data's daughter? Also, nice clean autographs, all on card. How can you go wrong? Richard Fancy. Malachi Throne. Whew, that's a signature. And Megan Cole. Ron Canada. And Tony Todd. Felt like more than 24 packs in there. Okay, we have Gene Dynarski and Mark Taylor. Thank you. 
feels thin. I don't want to take any chances. William Lithgow. And Frank Collison. Stephen Lee and Guy Vardaman. Jim Norton John Fleck huh, Whenever I hear Jim Norton all I can think of is the comedian That's just one Felt like more than one card there Day Young and Barbara Allen Woods. Hey, Liz, how you doing tonight? Robert O'Reilly and good old Matt Frewer he's been in a ton of stuff hasn't he <clears throat> oh, just tired as always and trying to and Kelsey Grammer it's kind of a bummer he went off the card a little bit Susan Dial. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. <clears throat> and Colm Meany. Have you had any uh, good acquisitions lately, Liz? Joshua Harris. Vito Ruginis. 
But that sounds like that could be the alien name. That's good. Barbara Tarbuck. Castulo Guerra. Ellen Gear, Nicholas Kepros, Patty Yasutake and Chad Allen. I'm gonna have to pick up the pace here a little bit. Well, you know what? We'll we'll be able to speed it up on the second box. Uh, how sweet would have been if there was a Scotty autograph instead of a Nimoy autograph, or as well as Bruce French, and Eve Brenner. Yeah, I think that's going to be the last thing on my on my want list. I'm going to probably going to have to fill is going to be the relics. Gabriel Damon, and Nicole Orth Palavicini, Val Palavicini, I don't know, that is a last name, holy cow, when you have to fill out those forms where it's got the little squares, one for each letter, she's got to run out. You know, I was looking, and I don't remember why, I was looking on eBay, and um, Season 2 unopened boxes are insanely expensive. Ben Lemon and Fran Bennett. I mean, I started a little late to the game on the on the group breaks for Game of Thrones, but uh, I've I've never seen season two in person. I mean, unopened. 
J.D. Cullum, Barbara Williams. Yeah, I've been kind of <laughs> holding off. I'm going to put another break of inflections up. I have no idea how many boxes Blowout got, but I can put up one or two more, but it's the price they have on the website. If I had to guess, I'd say that I bet you, I don't even think they got 20 cases, which I think they got at least that many last time. Jane Daly. There's another good one. David Ogden Styers. Well, I did sort of, but I got to start over again. It's going to be in its own thread because it's a whole new price and it's way more expensive. So what I'm going to have to do is go through everybody that said that they would take spots in case three first offer it to them at the new way more expensive price and then open it up to everybody else Alby Selznick because a few people did drop out when they saw how much the price went up Natalia Nogolich thing that gets me is just at that price and I understand it's not just blowout it's other people I mean there's no way it can live up to that price I'm sorry Jeffrey Hayenga and Marina Sirtis I haven't I didn't take one spot myself I'm probably gonna I don't know maybe bottom feed from people selling spots to get some base and then I'll just buy and trade to finish what I to at least get my base set Jonathan Del Arco and Michael Schneider Okay, now we have this Earl Bowen as Nagalum. Oops, sorry. I believe that's the case topper autograph. And it doesn't seem to want to focus because of the top loader. But you get the idea. And then this is the other. This is the incentive. Uh, which one's six and which one's three? I get them backwards. I think this is actually the six case incentive. Hold on a second. It's the hell. Why is it not? Uh, six key. Oh no, this is the three case incentive. It is the Brent Spiner? Okay, on to the second box. Well, here's those pins, super thick packs right there. this little bad boy right here. I'm going to flip him over so you don't see him. I just think that the base and inserts are going to go a lot higher than the uh, than the nobody you know, well not nobody but the lower autographs. I don't want to go too crazy opening these all the way but so you can see the pin and Pulaski and it says numbered 113 of 300 you know what I don't even think this is going to fit in a thick 
sleeve. I didn't realize these were as thick as they were. Nope. Nope. Uh, let me grab a couple of team bags. Jordy, 34 of 300. I mean, the pin on the inside looks exactly like the picture on the outside, so I just don't want to stress the spine anymore. Was there uh, five of these or six of these? How many were there? Uh, do, 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 do. Pin cards, five of them. Okay, here's data, 87 of 300. No, I, I don't know if I ever even heard of Trekkies. Is it a movie or is it like a documentary? Two thirty four, three hundred, Tasha Yar. And here's Troy, 153 of 300. All right, so now we've got a few more autographs, not many left, and uh, the rest of the inserts. Oh, we can get a, still got a few more parallels too. Insert, insert, insert. I don't... Hmm. Well, there's a, a card here, but... Am I missing a... Is this an insert? Oh, I bet you it's an I. There's something with an I. Uh, H. E. Hmm. Oh no, it says masks. Oh, oh, it's a skip numbered set. Am I missing something here? I could have sworn Patrick Stewart was in this. No? Jeez. Shows you how much I know. Oh, James Dillon was, an insert, was a cut signature card. Alright, so... Now what I did do though was, well, every night when I've been at my desk here sorting cards and whatnot, I've been, uh, this last week, I had this watch-a-thon with all these free movies from the different pay channels. So I 
put the uh, the Xfinity stream thing on my computer and watch a bunch of crappy movies that I missed. I'm guessing this is just going to be a random assortment of a couple of base cards because there's no way I'm going to get a whole set <laughs> out of this. I think I got some of my, uh, I got my archive boxes mixed a little bit. I was thinking that Stuart was in this one also, but he is not. Okay, and then that does it. I guess, again, they just, they must need to fill out the pack, because I don't know why there's, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different base cards. Um... I'm just looking at the checklist and I don't actually usually there's a yeah I don't see anything in the archive box contents so these are just a couple of random base cards all right and then the card we've all been waiting for that bad boy right there Okay, so that is it for Archive Box 1. Archive Box 2, we can actually go through a whole lot quicker. Because I'm just going to tell you the names. If anything looks off, I'll show you. But otherwise, I don't see what the need is. We're going to do both of these in the same video. No need to stop. Knock this out in less than a half an hour. Which box did I open up first? Yes, it was. Uh, Sandy Frank. I'm just gonna guess from the from Frank is uh is that Zelda? There's the Spiner and the, uh, I guess not, uh, Earl Bowen. Well, no, there's uh, one of the one of the guys that's in a lot of the breaks. His, uh, his user ID is Zelda Fanatic, and his last name is Frank. I'm sorry, I have to apologize. Uh, who, who are you, Sandy Frank? You're, I mean, are you just watching, or are you a... Uh, 
blowout member. There's our second Nimoy. It's a little bit harder to focus going through the top loader. Gonna do these first. This uh, this box is all the inserts. Get them out of the way. Okay. Sorry, I just thought you were somebody else. Yeah, that's the big thing. This uh, this is an old um, Star Trek: The Next Generation series two or season two. I'm not sure what they how they called it. Uh, these archive boxes. So you're guaranteed a Nimoy autograph in each one. Uh, it says series two. We got here 195 of 300 for the Jordy. Ah, I grab my team bags here. Well, if you're going to be bored over the next few days. I'm going to be really busy. 27, excuse me, 27 to 300 on Troy. I've got this week um, another Star Trek 50th archive box. Two cases of Orville, which comes out tomorrow. And five cases of Rick and Morty Season 2, which also comes out tomorrow. Uh, 249 to 300 data. One oh seven of three hundred three uh three hundred for yar I guess and two seventy seven of three hundred for Pulaski. Do either of you like the uh, independent stuff at all? Like the Perna or Viceroy or uh, the, any of those other types of ones that come out?
Okay, that is the first box. Now the autograph box. But I was wondering, nothing concrete yet, but uh, Day Young and Barbara Allen Woods. So I might have been talking with somebody and might be trying to work out a, a break of a product that'll be, you know, something independent, something small. And I will be the only one that's allowed to break it. So we'll do the whole break, like one group break will be the entire product run. Thought that sounded kind of neat. Haley Todd and Steven Anderson. You know, we're going against what I was saying here. I'm going to. I'll tell you as I go. I'll show you the, the main ones. Ron Canada and Tony Todd. Oh. Ron went off the card. I don't think I'll have enough people in the Facebook group. <laughs> the big thing I've been trying is is this stupid Facebook group. I, I know I'm calling it stupid. It's my own group, but I'm just I'm so against Facebook. But I just I needed some other place to be able to do card stuff. Ellen Gear. So if I can get enough people to go to the Facebook group, uh, Nicholas Kepros, then we could do it, run it all completely independently. Alby Selznick, Natalia Nogolich. I think I'm gonna run out of soft sleeves. Gotta go, might have to go grab another pack. But we'll see. If not, it'll just it'll go through a blowout. Still a little too far away, but um, Sandy, we've got the next Star Wars release is that Chrome Legacy. Jane Daly, there's David Ogden Styers. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Anyway, um, for Star Wars, the next new release is uh, Chrome Legacy, which basically sounds like it's just going to be the old. Uh, Jedi Legacy. Jeffrey Hayenga, and here's Marina Sirtis. Yeah, there'll be a, a small gap in, in releases. Um, because you like said you got Orville and Rick and Morty this week. Um, the Marvel Universe comes out on the 1st. James Bond, I think, comes out in two weeks. Or it might, be, it might even be next week. Jonathan Del Arco and Michael Snyder. Uh, he got a little big on a signature. You know, I think Tops would actually be doing a lot better 
if they were to just say it's one hit per box and then the medallions are just an insert set because people I mean that seems to be one of the biggest gripes is that they're calling you know these manufactured hits Of course, I said that exactly how they do it. Gene Dynarski and Mark Taylor. Is it's not a hit, it's just an insert. They just made a medallion. So, I think you'd be a lot better suited if they were to say that it was one hit. And then maybe sometimes you get two hits. <laughs> well, it probably won't be for quite some time, so... Will be uh, plenty of time for it. Patty Yasutaki and Chad Allen. I would say honestly, though, the the best manufactured ones were. Oh, was it Last Jedi Series One? I'm trying to think, which ones were the? It was the card was black. And it had gold foil trim. Those were nice looking. Most of them, yeah, they're not they're not that good. Barbara Tarbuck and Castulo Guerra. Looks like she got a little sloppy with her pen there. Well, somehow they got to sneak Harrison Ford in there. So did you see that um, Ewan McGregor is going to be in, at least in Masterworks this year? And obviously he'll be in Stellar 3 then, as big of a mistake as that is. But about time they finally were able to line up a new signer. Megan Cole, Malachi Throne, Richard Fancy. Okay, those are the ones, if I remember correctly, I really liked those. The The saber hilts were good. Um, they weren't bad. But then, oh God, was it, was it Last Jedi 2? Which one had those, those crappy patches? And they were like, like rubbery patches. The images didn't look good. It might have even been in Solo. I, I don't remember. They're just bad images of, uh, of vehicles. Eve Brenner and Bruce French. And I ran out of soft sleeves. Excuse me one second. Am I lucky? I had... I had five packs of them sitting on my desk and I put them away. Excuse me for one quick second. Gotta wade through all the boxes of trash Ugh. and packing materials. Okay, we're back. Yeah, I don't, um, I was just reading about Celebration. It's not something I, I don't really have any desire to go to, but um, he wasn't there, but they were selling autographed uh, pictures of him. Denise Crosby. Jonathan Frakes. And... Uh, the guy that plays Q. What the hell is his name? John DeLancey. Why can I not remember that? But those patches, they were the ones that were like a lot of orange and white and brown.
I actually don't mind the stamps too much. That they do like in Masterworks. There's Matt Frewer. And Robert O'Reilly. But just in general for upcoming releases, though, uh, I'm trying to think in order. Let's go back to this. So we got, hey, he did the exact same thing. Kelsey Grammer, and he, he starts off the card. And there's Ashley Judd. They also said in, was it for Masterworks? They're going to have relics again. And actual relics. I know they had um, in 2012. Was it? It's 2012. To, why can I not get the years right? But the first Masterworks, they had. Um, there's Colmini, Susan Dial. But um, they had the pieces. Of, what was it? Pieces of. Um, they had Stormtrooper costume like it was like pieces of plastic and then they had pieces of metal it was supposed to be like a, a door or something oh fancy schmancy did a semester in London Stephen Lee Guy Vardaman Jim Norton and John Fleck. Uh, there's so many different manufactured things that they do. You lose track of them after a while. William Lithgow, Frank Collison. Is William Lithgow any relation to John Lithgow? Gabriel Damon and Nicole Orth Palavicinci or whatever it is. Well, I kind of liked from ooh, was it Jedi Legacy that had the uh, you could get Ewok fur sail barge uh, material or Chewbacca fur. I'm trying to think if it was if Jedi Legacy was the one that also had all those different um, film cell cards. Ben Lemon and Fran Bennett.
Geez, that's a name. Little Malcolm and the Unix. Yeah, we had opened up a few cases of that. We didn't pull anything. Uh, whichever the hardest one was, I don't think we ever pulled. And I think it was Chewbacca was the hard one. I think we pulled both the Ewok fur, because there was a couple of those. Joshua Harris and Vito Ruginis. J.D. Cullum and Barbara Williams. All right, well, that is it for these. So here's the thing. I, I will scan or take pictures of these, but I'll be honest with you, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get all of that up because, like I said, my schedule for the next four or five days is just insane because um, besides opening up seven cases of cards and other archive box it's Easter and my son has a tournament so there's a lot going on I'll get the pictures up as quickly as I can um, the random still hasn't been done yet if it's not done in the morning I'll request it a second time so we can try and uh, you know get that going because I mean you know the top 10 picks probably nobody's really going to care if they see the picture or not you know I mean if I'm you know if you're taking Nimoy or those uh, commander pins or whatever communicator pins I mean um, you know Ashley Judd Kelsey Grammer Frakes you know all the main all the main autographs uh, the, the other incentives um so, tomorrow, if I get done my meeting early enough, I'm going to try and at least knock out one of the Orville cases. And then between Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will be the other Orville case, the rest, all the Rick and Morty cases. And if everybody pays up on that Star Trek 50th box and we get that random, we can open that up over the weekend too. I think I set a deadline of Friday on that, the 19th. If there's anything out there that you're looking to break, or excuse me, you want to have a group break done of, shoot me a message and let me know. If I can do it, I will. It's always a lot of fun. Just got to wait for all this other stuff to finish. Um, the uh, break's going on right now. Um, James Bond, which is supposed to come out, I think, in a, next week. It doesn't look like that second case filled, so I'm going to have to cancel that one, and then we're just going to do one case. Um, Twin Peaks Archive Box. We're done with all the regular cases. I don't think we'll be doing any more of those unless the price comes down. But uh, Archive Box, there's only like four or five spots left in that. So if you're interested in uh, picking up some uh, pretty high-end autographs out of that and uh, the printing plates. I think they're the only other two breaks going on right now that are filling still. Everything else is full and we're just waiting for it to come out. Um, upcoming things that I'm looking at. Um, let's see what else. Uh, Flare Legacy comes out, I think, in June. And that Chrome Legacy for uh, Star Wars. I don't know anything about Steven Universe, so I don't think I'll be doing that one. So that's it. I'm just rambling now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next break.